fired 19 Javelin missiles and destroyed all of the Iraqi vehicles. The Javelin is the infantry's latest smart weapon. It's the first shoulder-mounted missile that guarantees a kill almost every time. So what makes it so smart, so lethal? Right, you rest it up here on the sandbags. Got it. It's out of your way. There you go. So it's actually pretty nicely balanced here, isn't it? Yes. All right, now would you go ahead and uh, depress the eyepiece? Okay. Looking Which, down range. Basically, I push my head into the eyepiece, right? Yes. Man, this is so easy to use, Sarge. Yes, it is. <sighs> now, Sarge, one of the things that's amazing is this is not that heavy. No, it's not. With the actual missile at 50 pounds, with the shoulder pad where it is, it center balances it, so the gunner actually really doesn't really feel the weight. I think these two grips definitely help as far as just being able to control the weapon. It's not awkward to hold at all. It gives you, whatever, whatever position you're in, it gives you a better and more stable firing platform. The Javelin's launcher uses a sophisticated viewfinder to find its target. The viewfinder can be used by day or by night using infrared imaging. Good. Now I'm on wide field of view, right? Okay. From, now if you click that sight select button one more time and take it to narrow field of view. After recognizing the target, I can then place the track box around it. Uh, I can clearly see by the signature it's a tank. Yes. The crosshairs appear telling me I've got a lock and I'm ready to fire. It's amazing. But that's only the start. To find out more about it, I met up with Javelin's chief engineer, Dan Rice. He's perfected a new type of targeting system that uses fire and forget technology. You pull the trigger and leave the missile to do its work. You don't even have to remain in position. This weapon is so smart, it can do it all by itself. So, how does it work? There's really three main components to the system. First is our image and infrared tracker, our sensor. That is controlled by the tracker, and then the software then provides the commands to the CAS that steers to the target. Those three items are what gets us to the target and provide really the fire and forget of the system. The heat-seeking sensor at the front sends a signal to the tracker, which then controls the missile's guidance system, steering it to the target. Its smart computer guarantees that the Javelin never loses lock. And because Javelin doesn't rely on wire guiding systems or lasers to find its target, it has no known countermeasures. When the Javelin's fired, there's nowhere to hide. And then we get to the target and then all the exciting stuff happens. The Javelin can destroy any armor on the battlefield. It's so smart that with the flick of a switch, it can attack a tank at its weakest spot right here on the top. Anyone hiding inside? They're finished. Most tanks have a layer of explosive armor to destroy incoming missiles. It's called reactive armor, but the Javelin even has an answer for that. Two different explosives deal with the tank's defenses. The first charge blows away the explosive armor. Reactive armor is actually explosive itself, isn't yes, it? Yes, exactly. The reactive armor is on the tank, right. and what happens is there's lots of explosive there, and it tries to destroy your weapon. Before the main warhead breaks through for the kill. So what we want to do is get those flyer plates out of the way, right. clear the air, Got it. and then delay enough that we fire the main charge. It's clear, nothing but tank in front of it, and we put the warhead all the way through. In the blink of an eye, the inside of the tank reaches temperatures in excess of 8 thousand degrees Fahrenheit nothing survives but what if the target tries to hide down in a gully most shoulder fire missiles only operate along a line of sight firing directly at the target that's when the javelin comes into its own javelin can switch from direct fire mode to top attack mode the top attack mode is flying up at a much higher angle coming down at a steeper angle and attacking the top of the tank. The top of the tank on the turret is where the thinnest armor is located, and that's where the missile will actually penetrate through that thin armor. A lot of times with a top attack mode, what happens is it comes in at such an angle from the top mm -hmm. that basically the enemy thinks that you've got aircraft that are dropping bombs. But firing a missile is risky because it has a heat signature that immediately gives away the soldier's position, leaving them vulnerable to attack. By firing the javelin, is the soldier signing his own death warrant? 
you know, every time I see this, it's amazing to me, just the technology behind it and how reliable this system is. Right. We've got a lot of feedback on Javelin from the field, and it looks like uh, the data says that uh, first-time gunner hits is up around 94 percent, which is amazing for any system that's, that's this sophisticated. The Javelin's fire-and-forget technology allows soldiers to immediately reposition. He can find a target, fire against that target, and while that missile is in the air and on its way, he can actually retreat behind cover, reload again, and engage a different target. Javelin is the first fire-and-forget missile that really absolutely works, and uh, that's the key that makes it unique, and it allows the gunner to survive in battle and come back and tell us about it. The missile also has a revolutionary launch system with a much lower heat signature, making it harder to detect the gunner's position. Unlike previous shoulder-launched missile systems, the Javelin uses two motors. The first motor is just powerful enough to eject the missile 30 feet from the barrel. Seconds later, the main motor kicks in, propelling the Javelin to the target. It's called a soft launch. Once fired, Javelin will strike a target up to two and a half thousand yards away in under 20 seconds. Javelin's also proving its worth in urban combat, especially in places like Baghdad, where snipers use buildings for protection. It can take out buildings, uh, small buildings, I might add, but it takes out buildings and there's not, not a lot of collateral damage. We've had a couple of the guys come back and talk to us, and uh, it really is heart-wrenching when they come back and say, it is because of you that my guys came back and survived. You, that's just a feeling you can't imagine. Javelin anti-tank missile has changed the rules of engagement. Using state-of-the-art fire-and-forget technology, it takes out its target first time, every time. Nothing else comes close. Well, that's what they say. But you know me, I have to see it for myself. We're setting up a live firing at Redstone Arsenal, home of the Javelin. All right, need to clear the pad of all unnecessary personnel. Our target is a Russian tank placed just 500 yards away. It's got four-inch armor plate. Surely that's more than a match for the Javelin. Powerful heaters warm up the target to simulate heat from the tank's engines. Remember, the Javelin's infrared eye locks onto the target's heat signature. Today, the target is right here. At around $40,000 a missile, the military don't launch these things for fun. Each test firing is closely monitored on a bank of remote cameras at the Javelin's command center. But not for me. I need to be close to the action. Now they've begun the test, okay? We're pulling back. There's a huge rocket blast that comes out the back end, so we're going to get to a place where we're safe to watch it. The assistant gunner actually sees what the gunner's aiming at. Now the two work in tandem so they can get the best possible signature lock. Once the assistant gunner has a good lock, he'll give the gunner a signal to fire. Gunner, you have permission to fire. <laughs> right on target. Knocked the heck out of that thing. You see that? That was really cool. It went up, and it looks like it's just about to fall. And then that motor kicks in. You shoot straight up. And once it hits that target, you don't want to be anywhere close to that. It was great, man. Did it hit? Oh, it hit dead on. It dead on. How's it feel when you hear the sound going off? If you're not prepared, it's a little stuttering. Yeah? But other than that, it's a quick launch. But it, does it, it doesn't have a big impact on your shoulder, does it? No. No. There was no impact on my shoulder. It just pushed forward a little bit, brought it back up, and acquired a target. How easy is it to keep, is it to keep that uh, uh, target, to bracket that target in, to lock that target signature in? Very simple. Yeah? It was once I acquired my target, fixed my track case, and uh, we squeezed the secret trigger. It was there and stayed there. And it didn't take you much time to get that together. In a combat situation, how, how much time do you think it would take you? 
Average gunner, 30 seconds. That's incredible. That's incredible. Now, Fleet, you've, you've knocked down hundreds of these. Now right? we can get a closer look at the damage. Even without an explosive warhead, I can see it's twisted the tank's armor out of shape. This is exactly where I was standing before when I drew the X right up here. Basically, the copper comes in here, shreds the metal, goes all the way straight through, right into the tank. And right now, I can smell it. What is this I'm smelling, brother? It's the warhead. It's the warhead itself. Yeah. Possibly some of the rubber inside from the tank. It smells like explosives. That's what it smells like. What goes on inside once it once it hits? There's a lot of overpressure. If you notice the hatch, the hatch was closed right. at the beginning of the shot. Both were, right? Against the javelin, neither armor nor buildings offer any protection. That's the beauty of the fire and forget technology, is all the gunner has to do is lock onto a target and then fire the missile. And the missile doesn't really care whether it's attacking a tank, a Humvee, or some building. It goes in and takes it out. Smart weapons like the Javelin give the gunner a lot of protection. But little has changed to protect the soldiers when it comes down to a good old-fashioned gun battle. Three items are what gets us to the target and provide really the fire and forget of the system. The heat-seeking sensor at the front sends a signal to the tracker, which then controls the missile's guidance system, steering it to the target. Its smart computer guarantees that the Javelin never loses lock. And because Javelin doesn't rely on wire-guiding systems or lasers to find its target, it has no known countermeasures. When the Javelin's fired, there's nowhere to hide. And then we get to the target, and then all the exciting stuff happens. The Javelin can destroy any armor on the battlefield. It's so smart that with the flick of a switch, it can attack a tank at its weakest spot right here on the top. Anyone hiding inside? They're finished. Most tanks have a lift. I can clearly see by the signature it's a tank. Yes. The crosshairs appear telling me I've got a lock and I'm ready to fire. It's amazing. But that's only the start. To find out more about it, I met up with Javelin's chief engineer, Dan Rice. He's perfected a new type of targeting system that uses fire and forget technology. You pull the trigger and leave the missile to do its work. You don't even have to remain in position. This weapon is so smart, it can do it all by itself. So, how does it work? There's really three main components to the system. First is our image and infrared tracker, our sensor. That is controlled by the tracker. And then the software then provides the commands to the CAS that steers to the target. Those are of explosive armor to destroy incoming missiles. It's called reactive armor, but the Javelin even has an answer for that. Two different explosives deal with the tank's defenses. The first charge blows away the explosive armor. Reactive armor is actually explosive itself, isn't yes, it? Yes, exactly. The reactive armor is on the tank, right. and what happens is there's lots of explosive there, and it tries to destroy your weapon before the main warhead breaks through for the kill. So what we want to do is get those flyer plates out of the way, right. clear the air, Got it. and then delay enough that we fire the main charge. It's clear, nothing but tank in front of it, and we put the warhead all the way through. In the blink of an eye, the inside of the tank reaches temperatures in excess of 8,000 degrees Fahrenheit. Nothing survives. So easy to use, sir. Yes, it is. Now, Sarge, one of the things that's amazing is this is not that heavy. No, it's not. With the actual missile at 50 pounds, with the shoulder pad where it is, it center balances it, so the gunner actually really doesn't really feel the weight. I think these two grips definitely help as far as just being able to control the weapon. It's not awkward to hold at all. It gives you, whether, whatever position you're in, it gives you a better and more stable firing platform. The Javelin's launcher uses a sophisticated viewfinder to find its target. The viewfinder can be used by day or by night using infrared imaging. Good. Now I'm on wide field of view, right? Okay. From, now if you doing? click that site select button one more time and take it to narrow field of view. After recognizing the target, I can then place the track box around it. Fire 19 Javelin missiles and destroyed all of the Iraqi vehicles. 
The Javelin is the infantry's latest smart weapon. It's the first shoulder-mounted missile that guarantees a kill almost every time. So what makes it so smart, so lethal? Alright, you rest it up here on the sandbags. Got it. It's out of your way. There you go. So it's actually awesome. pretty nicely balanced here, isn't it? Yes. All right, now would you go ahead and uh, depress the eyepiece? Okay. Looking down range. Basically, I push my head into the eyepiece, right? Yes. Man, this is 